Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the trigeminal nerve, also called fifth cranial nerve. And this nerve is the largest cranial nerve. And this is the nerve which is associated with the innervation of the structures that is developed from first pharyngeal arch. Okay, so this is a mixed nerve. So it has sensory component and motor component. Efferent or sensory component has three division. The ophthalmic division here. This is the ophthalmic division here. Then we have the maxillary division and here's the mandibular division. These are the cutaneous innervation. In addition to this cutaneous innervation, we have also other muscular mucous membrane innervation okay so the the sensory component has three three division of thelmic maxillary and mandibular division and we have the motor component innervates the muscles of mastication that that passes along with the mandibular nerve it innervates the muscles of mastication like that of the temporalis masseter lateral pterygoid medial pterygoid plus it also innervates the, it also gives motor innervation to the anterior belly of the diagnostic muscle, the mylohyoid muscle, the tensor tympani muscle, tensor very palatine muscle. So this is the motor component. Motor component passes to the muscle by means of the mandibular nerve. Okay, we got that. Okay. So here, the trigeminal nerve has nucleus. We have the, it provides sensory innervation to the head. We know that we have just seen that. It, inner, it provides sensory innervation. That is the cutaneous innervation to the head. It has three somatic efferent nuclei. The mesencephalic nuclei that is present in the, in the upper part of the pons going to the lower part of the midbrain, the mesencephalic nucleus receives proprioceptive fiber from the muscles of mastication. Proprioception means position and movement sense. It is, it is a sensation. Okay. And the principal or pontine sensory nucleus mainly mediates touch. Okay. We have the principal or pontine nucleus here. This is the mesencephalic nucleus that extends from the midbrain to the pons here. And the spinal nucleus mediate pain and temperature. We must know that this pain touch temperature has always overlapping. The motor nucleus provides motor innervation to the temporalis masseter, lateral pterygoid, medial pterygoid, plus the anterior belly of the diagnostic mylohyoid tensor belly palatine tensor tympani muscle okay we got that here is our nucleus the mesencephalic nucleus this is the motor nucleus this is the principal sensory nucleus okay this is the spinal nucleus here okay we got that okay so we have to find out something about the trigeminal ganglion that and the exit of the middle cranial fossa. First of all, let's get what is trigeminal ganglion. Ganglion is the collection of nerve cells that is located at the tip of the pitous part of the temporal bone in the middle cranial fossa and is enclosed by a duplication of the dura called Macken's cave. Contain pseudonuclear neuron, <coughs> contains pseudonuclear neuron which are first order neurons for trigeminothalamic tract. We know that the thalamus is the major sensory relay station. So sensation from the, from the head area, from the face area should go through the thalamus by means of the, by means of the trigeminothalamic tract. We have to find out the exit from the middle cranial fossa. Middle cranial fossa, we have the by the side of the spinal bone, the 
the cavernous sinus and cavernous contains the ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve and the maxillary division of trigeminal nerve okay so superior orbital fissure is the exit for the ophthalmic nerve to the orbit okay so the middle cranial fossa to the orbit from and rotundum to the pterygopathic fossa fossa and the content is the maxillary nerve from rotundum superior orbital fissure content is the ophthalmic nerve okay here from an oval there is the exit route for the mandibular nerve to the inferior surface of the base of the skull okay so if you look at the cutaneous innervation that is very important to us to know the cutaneous innervation this is the ophthalmic nerve here then this part is the maxillary nerve this part is the is the maxillary nerve this is the ophthalmic nerve and this is the mandibular nerve again this is the mandibular nerve this is the maxillary nerve cutaneous innervation and this is the ophthalmic nerve look at that ophthalmic nerve covered the vertex of the head the forehead the upper eyelid conjunctiva and the dots on the nose by the side of the nose vestibule of the nose okay then the part below that here the cheek area plus the lower eyelid okay including the part of the temple that is that is covered by the maxillary nerve then mandibular nerve is this this part we have it also cover external it also innervates the skin over the external ear plus maximum part of the temple here the mandible but not the angle of the mandible you must consider that part angle of the mandible is innervated by the great auricular nerve that is coming out of the cervical plexus not from the trigeminal nerve this is not an area that is supplied that is innervated cutaneous innervation by the trigeminal nerve no this is by the great auricular nerve c2 c3 from the cervical plexus okay we got that so we have the mandibular division we have the maxillary division we have the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve okay so this is the trigeminal nerve three division ophthalmic division maxillary division these two are on the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus but not this one mandibular nerve okay this is for the lower we must know the sensory innervation and of the ophthalmic nerve sensory innervation of the maxillary nerve motor innervation of the mandibular nerve mandibular nerve has also sensory innervation okay both motor and sensory here motor innervation we discussed the muscles of mastication other muscles okay sensory innervation the mandibular area temple but not the angle of the mandible we have seen that in the picture the sensory innervation okay then if you look at again we'll go to the brain and we'll find out the cranial nerves what is my fifth cranial nerve this is the fifth cranial nerve okay coming out of the four pons we have the motor root sensory root okay sensory root is usually larger and it should be larger okay so we we'll go there and this is the v1 that means the ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve v2 that is the maxillary division of trigeminal nerve v3 that is the mandibular division of trigeminal nerve okay we got that then these are the three division we have seen that this part by the ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve that is inside the nose okay inside the nose here the vestibule of the nose then the mandibular division of the the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve we have just two component motor component that supplies the muscles of mastication sensory component the lower part of the face including the lower border of the mandible except the angle of the mandible okay we'll go to the cutaneous branches of the ophthalmic nerve supratrochlear infratrochlear supraorbital lacrimal nerve and external nasal nerve 
okay we got that this is the supraorbital supertrochlea lacrimal nerve okay lacrimal nerve then we have to find out other nerves okay like that of the we, we got that external nasal nerve here is the external nasal nerve the external nasal nerve has not been shown here external nasal nerve there is a continuation of the anterior ethmoidal nerve that is a branch of the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve it should be here okay somewhere here okay very good so we got that now go to the next cutaneous branches of the maxillary nerve infraorbital nerve this is the infraorbital nerve here okay infraorbital foramen infraorbital nerve here okay then jagomitigo temporal jagomitigo facial nerve here we'll get that jagomitigo facial jagomitigo temporal nerve so the upper jaw is getting uh, upper jaw teeth are getting innervation for the maxillary nerve lower jaw teeth are innervated by the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve okay if you go to the previous image we'll find out that okay so here we see ophthalmic nerve okay from ophthalmic nerve we'll get the we, we get the innervation here in the forehead area mostly forehead area the vertex of the head okay then if you go to the maxillary nerve maxillary nerve provides the teeth to the upper jaw okay like posterior superior alveolar nerve middle superior alveolar nerve and from infraorbital nerve we may have the anterior in, in, inferior anterior superior alveolar nerve okay so all are superior or inferior anterior superior anterior middle and the posterior and the posterior alveolar nerve posterior superior alveolar nerve okay so these are the nerve coming out of the maxillary nerve that innervates the teeth okay we got anterior superior alveolar nerve we got the middle superior alveolar nerve we should get posterior superior alveolar nerve okay we got that okay so mandibular division of trigeminal nerve cutaneous innervation auricular temporal nerve that is passing along this way to the almost to the to the temple buccal nerve we must remember that that nerve is sensory buccal nerve from the mandibular nerve mandibular branch that is sensory okay but it shouldn't be confused with the buccal nerve of the facial nerve that is motor to the vaccinator this is just sensory mental nerve that is the continuation of the inferior alveolar nerve to the mental foramen that is the mental nerve okay we got the cutaneous branches of the mandibular nerve now we we'll go to the next slide here clinical correlation of the cranial nerve number five loss of general sensation because it pick up sensation from the forehead vertex to the mandible border except the except the angle of the mandible so we have loss of general sensation loss of corneal reflex if you pass a cotton by the side of the cornea your eye lid will be closed okay afferent component is carried by the what now the optimal division of trigeminal nerve efferent component by means of the contraction of the orbicularis oculi muscle that is innervated by the facial nerve okay so we may have flash paralysis of the muscles of mastication we can test on the masseter muscle deviation of the jaw to the weak side by the by the normal side pterygoid muscle especially lat lateral pterygoid muscle paralysis of tensor tympani if this happen what will happen we will have hyperacusis whispering sound seems to be very much big amplified high pitch sound okay so trigeminal neuralgia another condition this happened jabs of pain around the around the mandibular division of trigeminal nerve maybe maxillary division of trigeminal nerve okay there will be electric shock like symptom just minor touch maybe weather change okay that may happen exact cause is not known maybe associated with that of the aneurysm on the 
on the trigeminal ganglion. Okay, but exact cause is still not very clear. RP Joster also called shingles infection. Specifically, it involves the ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve. If the ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve is involved by the shingles, then there will be every possibility of getting blindness. And these are my references. Okay. And so my references. And that's all for the anatomy of the trigeminal nerve. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. And please share the information with your friends. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me. And have a nice day. Bye now.